Are you perhaps nervous or calm on a train? Do you look around when you're on the phone or stare straight ahead? And are you the first to leave the train or do you loiter behind other passengers? Well, you might want to know the answer to these questions. Otherwise, the uh, U.S. National Train Service Amtrak, well, they might report you to the police. RT's Marina Portnaya are explaining what classifies as, quote, suspicious activity. On any given day, roughly 86,000 Americans ride the Amtrak. It's the country's nationwide rail network with more than 300 trains, and it's headquartered right here in Washington, D.C. But just about anything passengers do before, during, or after boarding is considered suspicious and questionable. Let me explain. According to the guidelines for Amtrak's customer service employees, ticket agents are encouraged to report travelers for suspicious behavior if that traveler is behaving unusually nervous or unusually calm, carrying little or no luggage. If the passenger looks around while making a telephone call or stares straight ahead, that too, according to Amtrak, may form the basis of criminal suspicious activity. The company also says purchasing tickets immediately prior to boarding, paying in cash or lots of cash is worth reporting to the police. The American Civil Liberties yeah. Union says it's received several reports from individuals wrongfully searched and arrested on Amtrak know, trains. That includes a woman who was speaking too loudly on her phone and a photographer who was taking pictures of a train for the annual Amtrak Picture Hour train competition. The ACLU says that Amtrak police haven't caught a single potential terrorist or uncovered any serious threat as a result of reporting suspicious activity under these guidelines. But Amtrak's broad and vague understanding of potential criminality leaves most passengers open to being targeted for what is considered normal, lawful behavior. Marina Portnaya, RT, Washington, D.C. And investigative journalist Dave Lindorf thinks that uh, Amtrak's, quote, suspicious activity guidelines are just another example of how the level of paranoia is getting out of hand. They seem to be wanting people to be exactly in the middle on everything. You can't be too nervous. You can't be too calm. You can't be looking around. You can't be looking straight ahead. It's a horrible attack on privacy. And the idea that they're watching you all the time to see whether you're, you know, you look furtive or nervous, these tend to be excuses for police to do whatever they want to do, which is basically to racially profile and go after minorities and uh, teenagers. I think the U.S. is kind of exceptional in this level of paranoia that people have about uh, terrorism and also in the extent to which our police have been militarized uh, like an occupying army. I just cannot believe the number of police cars I see in the course of a day in my suburban community. They're, they're everywhere.